what, what are we talking about here, Shilla? So I, I think I've covered uh, uh, products like ScreenFlow and Reflector in the past. Reflector, probably about two weeks ago, came out with a new version, Reflector 2. Um, and Reflector is made by Air Squirrels. So airsquirrels.com for all your for all your uh, air parrot and reflector and a, and a bunch of other product needs. And they also have Slingshot, which I haven't even ever looked at Slingshot. But anyway, um, or no, we talked. You talked about the Slingshot on the show before. But anyway, I did. Um, reflector is the ability to screencast, and uh, it used to be an iPad to your computer screen or an iPhone, and they they have some 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 recording tools. Um, one of the things that I've been looking for is the ability to record an Android screen, um, which if you're familiar with Android and Lollipop, uh, Lollipop has now has Chromecasting built into it um, for the most part, especially when you're on a Nexus build. Um, but this actually will let you screencast multiple operating systems. And I actually use this for something for work where I actually brought up an iPhone, an iPad, and an Android screen all simultaneously up on my screen. And then I screen shared my screen across WebEx, if you're familiar with any kind of screen sharing technology. And then I showed the same workflow on on the same app across all three devices. And, and we're, we're actually showing someone, look, your, your, your website breaks during these instances, but only on these devices. Um, I, I've used this kind of tool for recording demos and recording tutorials. Um, the, the thing that to me that's huge for this is they they seem to be the first one right now that's doing Chromecast recording. So, like I said, anything from Android, and they, they I also noticed they also do um, Chromecast from a Chromebook. Um, so, I, to me, this is this is a huge huge deal for me. They also have kind of ex- expanded into um, Fire TV and Fire TV Stick capabilities as well as there's an app that kind of lets you kind of remote control, they call it Director, Reflector Director. It's a, it's a companion app for iOS that kind of lets you control what's being displayed and, and connect and disconnect other other items from the, from the machine that's actually doing the uh, presentation. Now I have the first one because I think you brought this up to me in the past, um, and 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 it's always been wonky because the way the Wi-Fi is down here, like my Wi-Fi in the studio is actually different than the internet that all you guys are on, and any other Wi-Fi is on is uh, two floors away, so it's too. I was actually trying to do a little bit now and throw it on that Wi-Fi, and it's just it's too weak to do anything. Um, mm-hmm. So we haven't. I wanted to use it to kind of show off stuff here. So there's just a logistical problem doing it here in the studio. But I actually got to use it last Thursday. I did a how to do a how to video. I know, right? Mm-hmm. Um, where we shot a, a how to for this juicing this, uh, uh, this place called uh, Fresh from the Farm Juices up in Wexford, actually. And uh, we shot it on iPhones, and, and then it crashed, and I had to shoot it again. Um, so that was a new experience for me. Uh, but I wanted to load it onto the iPad, and much like I did that robot video in San Francisco when I only brought iDevices and tablets and stuff, right? Um, mm-hmm. I wanted to show them how to do it, wanted a bigger screen, so I reflected it to my um, 15 inch uh, MacBook and turn that around so people could see what I'm working on as I'm doing it. It worked beautifully. You know, of course, playing video and everything, it got a little choppy. It's going to, but people had an idea what I was doing. And um, I thought it worked out really well for that, for that situation. Um, So uh, I don't know if I would jump into a license for a new version. I don't know if there's enough bells and whistles that I would use to do that. But uh, if you haven't yet, I, I jump on this. It's only $15 for a single license for a Mac or a PC. Um, and that was the thing. I think originally it was Mac only, wasn't it? It was Mac only. They, 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 right. It was Mac and iOS only. Now it, they, they have a Windows version. They, it does Android. I think they're dipping their toe in um, the capability to actually mirror a Windows device, a Windows phone as well. Um, so, so that's where I, I feel like if you are any kind of developer trying to sell your app or promote your app mm-hmm. um, and you're doing demos to someone that's going to potentially buy your app in mass quantity, um, whether it be Android, iOS, whatever, to me, this is, this is the number one app for doing that. There's some, there's some other competitors that, that they, they seem to, to try to catch up to and then reflector quickly leapfrogs all of the capabilities plus like air server 
um, I've used, but uh, to your point, fourteen ninety nine, um, and it's through the lifetime of the version. So mm-hmm. I think Reflector One was around for I think two or three years. Um, yeah, I don't think that goes away. I can still, I'm two. pretty sure I can still use that Reflector One as long as I want to. Yes, you can. So. You can use Reflector One as long as you want to, and you should get a thirty three percent, I think, off the upgrade. So you should get it for like ten bucks instead of fifteen bucks. Um, if you would want to upgrade, like I said, it's nice if you, if you're trying to mirror something on the Android, especially like your Nexus seven device and you're not, and you don't have your Chrome stick and you're not trying to do it to a TV. If you're trying to do it to a computer to then reshare, um, that's where I definitely find it valuable. Certainly. So go check it out. Airsquirrels.com and they have that and, uh, all the other stuff they have over there at Airsquirrels that we were discussing as well. Uh, Air Paris Slingshot. Slingshot. Did I talk about Slingshot? Yeah, I think you talked about Slingshot. It, 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 it's kind of like a app that lets you collaborate and share a calendar and do video conferencing. I don't think this and... was me, but maybe somebody else brought it up. But now I'm kind of interested. <laughs> yeah, it lets you document, share, note, take, and it, it kind of lets you... I need a regular team. I have, I have a videography yeah, I team. team. I don't really have a, you know, I guess we could do this. That's something we could do with the, uh, I don't know. This this sounds like a kind of thing that's more for a business. It's probably priced as such, not for our podcast. I think it's meant for small business and yeah. it's priced as such. And I think it's a subscription thing too, where you're, you're paying some kind of ongoing fee. Sorry, I was trying to catch her making a funny face to her <laughs> camera. Are you periscoping again over there? No, I was uh, Snapchatting. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> Fantastic. Oh, I want to connect with everybody. Media. All kinds of media happening over here. So, um, multiple streams. I'm not um, eating anything. No one wants to watch me. <laughs> <laughs> um, uh, speak.